it looks like you guys have had some good breaks on the pressure around the course in the last two races, but you know, I was on the race committee boat for that last pre-start and it looked like you guys just nailed your time on distance. You had great acceleration, a great angle to the first mark. Was that the key moment in the race? Yeah, I think it was. That was pretty much the race. It was pretty easy from there. Um, still a off, awfully hard race course with still massive holes out there. So it's quite hard picking your um, mode up when whether you're sailing with the Jenica or without it. So it's a difficult racetrack. But yeah, for sure, that race was won and lost in the start. Yeah, and looking at you got you and Jan both sailing up wind, so, you know, half the time you guys have the Jenica out, half the time you don't. Can you tell, tell me how you make that decision? It's a hard decision to make. You sort of got to base it on what's coming as well. So you've got to be patient in the lulls if you're underpowered and wait for the breeze to come back. And sometimes you can sail through the puffs as well with the Jenica out and um, sail faster in the lulls. So typically you want to be overpowered rather than underpowered. But um, yeah, at the moment, we think it was a little advantage in that race just to be underpowered a few times and have just the main for the uphill. So yeah, it's an awfully hard decision and there's no trick to making it right or wrong. All right, and uh, uh, as you guys go up against Jan in these future matches, I mean, well, hopefully one more match for you guys, right? Uh, you know, what do you think he's going to do to try to turn his game around? Oh, he's French, so he's a fighter. So, um, yeah, we're not going to take our foot off the throat at all, and we're going to try and push it down a little harder, I think. And, yeah, we won't change a thing. We're not going to back off. So, yeah, should still be exciting. But I'm expecting him to come out swinging. All right, and, and the talk of the town this week has been your team being lighter and being able to sail four on the rack. Is that a huge advantage in this lighter pressure today? I think it is at the moment, yeah. As soon as we're sort of either just a main upwind and then as soon as we're, yeah, it's light airs, we're definitely making gains out there. And I think being 30 kgs lighter than everyone else is a big gain in the light. And as soon as we can get four of us on the rack, it's a gain in the breeze. So at the moment, I'd say it's paying dividends. All right, well, you hear it, heard it there from the man, Phil Robertson, just crushing Yongi Shard in race two of the quarterfinals. We're going to get back to racing here with Alan and Simon.